Greetings and welcome, heroes, to another Let's Play series. Welcome to Let's Play Warlords Battle Cry 1, in this case. Yes, another game in the series. Are you sure this isn't Warhammer? Well, in that case, uh, there's not much to say about this. I um, This is a real-time strategy game. Uh, it focuses a lot on yeah, developing your hero. Uh, I think it's mostly meant to be played in multiplayer, but uh, old game, so I don't think that will be happening too much, as in for most in the uh, in the Warlord Battlecry series. Uh, the focus does seem to be on playing skirmish matches and uh, playing multiplayer. I don't know how big the community is, so I can't tell you, as much as I might like to. But uh, the first one is actually a little bit special because it does actually have a single player campaign that you can play. And that's what I'll be doing here. Uh, I don't have a particular history with the series. Um, at some point, I did man uh, get a uh, shareware version of Warlords Better Cry 3, and I was kind of impressed with it. Also, kind of wondering, 3? What happened to the first two? I've never heard of them. But. Uh, as I understand it from a little bit of research that I've done, basically every single Warlords Battlecry game has been made by a different developer, although some of the leads have been the same, I think. But they've switched companies a lot of times, so there is a good deal of variety within the brand. Regardless, there's the campaign, skirmish, multiplayer, tutorials, editor, options, and of course we could leave if we want to. We don't. We want to start a campaign. At first we need to select our hero. Ignore this one. That's just... Uh, consider this a test game of mine that I was trying to figure out something. Uh, but we are not doing that. We are creating a new hero. Create our identity and... Oop. And sometimes the mouse gets a little wonky. Uh, we want a different face. Let's find a face if we like. Yeah, this will do. Alright, we shall be known as Leo, no surprise there. Uh, no password because eh, nobody else is going to be playing this. Now let's begin. Alright, so the quirk of this campaign is that you can eventually choose to play either good or evil as is shown here. Um, you don't have to do any particular specific tricks to do any of one of them. You just get to the end of chapter 2 and then you get to make a choice about which way you want to go. Either way is valid. Uh, no choice you make during, this, during the campaign actually matters in that regard. Uh, the story, as far as I've seen, is... <laughs> okay. Although I do... I will give it credit that it will actually sticks the landing a little bit uh, for uh, character progress. Which I was not expecting this uh, game to actually be able to do. Now, uh, this is a fairly old game. Um, and it's going to have a couple of visual glitches that I am unable to solve. It's also sometimes the controls will go a little bit wonky. As demonstrated just before when the mouse went weird. But that's fine. We'll just start with the episode Undead Patrol. Currently our hero does not have a specialization. That is fine. That will be solved once we gain a level. I summoned you because I have an important mission. But that can wait. Until then, I have a minor task that should be within your abilities. My chief scout, Robert, here has reported strange creatures wandering near Esgard Tower. Indeed, General. We observed a group of undead. Skeletons, I believe. You will deal with the creatures. Robert will lead you to them, and Minos will help you to overcome them. Minos is experienced and capable. Pay heed to what he says. Come on, then. We'll return these creatures to their graves. Nothing like a good fight, eh? Well, here we are, sir. The undead were sighted north of here. Alright. So here we have our glorious army. This valley looks like a perfect place for an ambush. Hmm? 
All right, yes, we sir. need to destroy all undead around. Uh, Esgard Tower, uh, Robert Minos and my hero must survive. That is indeed pretty much the condition in every mission so far. Lose your hero, lose the game. And I need to remember the controls are not that. Yes. Yeah, this. I must click. Alright, so I will be saving the game. And hopefully it will not spaz out on me. Yes, sir. Uh, on watch. Yes, sir. Robert will also be joining us. Minos but that's Minos. A good day for a battle, eh? We're off. Ready, sir. Now. Currently we are controlling a human faction, which basically means that our basic unit is the Pikeman, a fairly uh, average unit. Got normal protections all around, which basically means everything hits equally hard. But the Squires, which are basically archers, they will get hit hardest by melee attacks, but everything else is just normal. For the most part, early game, the Squires are gonna be your bread and butter for an efficient army. Enough because uh, your pikemen will just get worked by everything they see. Now, I could go up that valley, but let's have to say explore a bit. Because this game kind of rewards exploration. I also want to bring up my mana pool, although it doesn't really do anything. I am decently good at uh, melee combat, not so good against fire or magic. Well, I say melee combat, piercing is technically a ranged combat in this case. Could set a stance if I wanted to, but that's not necessary. I don't have any spells. I don't have anything in my inventory at the moment. Uh, I don't have anything in the spellbook. My stats and all that, which will be explained later. Right now, that's not totally irrelevant. I just, just double check over here. The undead are not gonna do anything because this is just a more or less an introduction mission. You also look around on the other side of Esgar Tower. Unit pathing is mostly sensible though it will sometimes do stuff like this. Again, fairly old game. Halving is about what I expect for something of this age. Throughout the campaign you will control other factions, although don't get your hopes on getting every faction you could possibly want. There's quite a few. Especially as soon as you get into the chapters where you can have uh where you have to pick a side. Right. That's quite enough of that. We have explored. Escar Tower looks beautiful, but it's not a building we can actually click on, so that's pretty. Yes, sir. Now I do have to be careful that I do not get Minos and or Robert killed. Yeah, see this is what I mean with visual glitches. Not sure where that, where that comes from, but it doesn't matter all that much. Although Minos, Minos, I don't have to be, or Minos, I don't have to be too early about because he is a tank. And it's very unlikely there's be much out here that will kill him, although I can apparently see a skeleton somewhere yes, up there. Alright, now skeletons, of course, will be, will be very resistant to piercing attacks. They're probably one of the few foes that our spike pen will actually be good against. Right, and we have a lich over here. Sir, we are outnumbered. I were outnumbered, but these are just skeletons. Our troops are more skillful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, that's free form the line. No, there's no passive healing as far as I can tell. So I do have to be a little bit careful. But it looks like there's just skeletons over here. And the enemy hero, which is uh, fairly similar. In skeletons, yeah, they are not very vulnerable to piercing, but everything else does extra damage aside from fire and magic. Fire is kind of weird, but. And now, to death, glory. A good day for a battle, eh? 
and yeah, skeletons and undead in general, just magical constructs. But it makes sense they have some protection against that. to make sure we're not missing anything. Exploration is kind of key in finding all the necessary uh, goodies. There could be artifacts hidden about. Although I don't think for this mission there is actually anything, but I still want to double check. It's usually around ruins like this, they hide uh, little bits of equipment and stuff that could be useful. Not sure about any of that because random every time I think for the most part unless it's a story quest we can get up here I don't think there's anything up here but would have been an alternative way to get to that lich if we had wanted to, but obviously there is no need. Yeah, still want to scout everywhere. There's always a chance I've missed something during my initial playthrough that I didn't check because I was kind of trying to speed through everything, but that's fine. But yeah, experience, your heroes, all very important. All your units are also gaining experience. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. And some of them may have leveled up, although I don't see any anyone in particular. Let's just double check here. Move out. Nope. All right, let's just kill the skeletons. You are victorious. Yes. Right, we have gained a level. Got a full 12 experience points. Right, now we have to choose a profession. Right, so we can be a warrior, a rogue, a wizard, a priest, and that's it. That's all the uh, professions you can pick as a human. And for this one, I think I want to be a priest, a charismatic leader who has also some skill in magic. Yeah, you know, a bit of an all-rounder, in some ways. Now, we always have access to our retinue, and occasionally we get new recruits, uh, which you can pick from. Usually those are, uh, the new recruits are people that you fought with alongside. Yeah. During uh, your previous mission, obviously there's not much to be going around. People like Roberts and Minos will never show up here because they are technically not part of the army that I control. But having a retinue that you can level up over time is always useful, if you can keep them alive. Right, let's move on to the base camp. Yeah, 
and east of Elskar Tower in Gaudia. All right, so we can build up to a keep level three. It's always nice when the game gives me that kind of information. Uh, not going to bring Matthew for this one. I would like a squire. I mean, I would really like a knight, but that's kind of expensive. Yeah, this mission will not be that hard. You have performed adequately. Now more important matters await. As I'm sure you're aware, a week ago two strange lights were seen in the night sky. Just before this mysterious omen, an old priest of Iris was here preaching something about a prophecy. Needless to say, I had him thrown out. Perhaps I should have listened. You must find the old man. Goodwind was his name, I think. And bring him back here to be questioned. What news do you have, Robert? We located Goodwin's cave, General. It is east of here, towards the Gap of Palmyr. But we also located many orcs. What do you think, Minos? We must defeat the orcs first, General. We should establish a base camp to chase the creatures from the area. Very well. You have your orders. Establish a keep, build a barracks, and take control of any mines you find. You'll need to rid the area of orcs before you can approach Goodwin's cave. Once again, Minos and Robert will ensure there are no mistakes. The mines are north and south, sir. The orcs are to the east. We'll need resources from the mines if we're to build a palace and a barracks. For once, I agree with the scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you already feel the superiority, the ripping of the commanders and, now and the knights. Forward. All right, so now we come to a bit of a fun little mechanic in this game. We can control of resources. Well, let's make Off sure that go. all our squires are together. Off we go. Looking forward to a good fight. Move out. Yes. Right. Let's begin the conversion. All alone. What next? All right. Let's also get yes, our. Sir. Eichmann yes, together. Ready, sir. Uh -huh. And I will want a keep. Ooh, Just oh, build that here. What was that? Because we have got not enough okay. space to do a lot of stuff. So. One moment. Now, your hero is usually the fastest at converting stuff. You'll later also get other units that can convert. In a human's case, that would be the wizards. Picked up some stone, that is useful, but not necessarily the biggest problem here. The uh, eagle is basically our best scouting unit. And, now and here we have a piece of equipment. Uh -huh. right. And I would want to build a barracks, but for that I first need a key. Right, so we find a sword that we can equip, so now we are a little bit better at combat. Right, we need to hold this bridge. There's another gold mine up here. More stone. Right. Almost done. All done, yeah. New armies and yeah. buildings are available. Let's get the barracks going, or a barracks going. And now, right, let's grab the stone. You will keep an eye on this route because here are some orcs. These are just orcs and ogres that thankfully cannot uh, look up. Uh, what else do I want to build? Let's get a smithy going as well. I can. Now that we have a barracks, we should train some more men to fight the orcs. Gather the troops. A good day for a battle, eh? Yeah. Right, no, the only troops I can build, unfortunately, are pikemen. That is fine mm -hmm. for now. I will want the archery range, but that requires keep level two, which requires more gold than I currently have. And I don't have them, so... 
Pikeman, reporting is ordered, sir. Just pause the game. All right, that'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. See you all next time. If you like my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe.